right. We don't have that. There's no epistle of Paul right. to the Arabs. There's right. no epistle of Paul to the Babylonians. Exactly. There's no epistle of Paul to the Edomites. Yeah, right. right. To the Arabs. There's right. no epistle of Paul to the Babylonians. Exactly. There's no epistle of Paul to the Edomites. Yeah, right. Paul right. to the Arabs. There's right. no epistle of Paul to the Babylonians. Exactly. There's no epistle of Paul to the Edomites. Yeah, right. Paul right. could have very easily perverted Christianity. Right. And the Paul bashers are just idiots for not seeing that. And of course, in other books, uh, Paul definitely says that the Edomites are vessels fit for destruction. Of destruction, yeah. right. He does not include them among the Israelites. And he and doesn't include any nation that's non-Israelite. Right. And Every one of those people Paul wrote an epistle to were dispersed Israelites. Right, right. And he excludes the uh, descendants of Ishmael, which is your today's Arabs, right? Absolutely. He excludes, he excludes them. them explicitly. He yes. excludes them. Right. So, uh, so if you thoroughly... Yeah, that's Galatians 4. So for you to say any and everybody could be saved, that, that would be an incorrect statement because Ishmael cannot be joint heirs with, uh, with with the Israelites to the kingdom. So they can't be saved for the kingdom, you know. So that uh, that um, excludes um, Ishmael. That's what they were talking about. Romans 9 tells you this thing is only for the Israelites. And it's talking about the dispersed amongst Israelites. That's where you get Acts 2 and 5 from. When it says there was Jews devout men from every nation because we were scattered amongst all nations. So it's not that all nations could be saved. It's that Israelites could be saved from all nations where we were scattered. And then when we became a part of these nations, we start calling ourselves Greeks. We start calling ourselves uh, Romans. We start calling ourselves Gentiles. We were no longer calling ourselves Israelites. Because if you read in 2 Maccabees um, chapter 6, I believe, uh, starting at verse 6, it shows you how we weren't allowed to call ourselves Jews or Israelites or keep those customs. So we had to call ourselves of the other nations we were at. The same way you have Israelites today calling ourselves African Americans, Native Americans, um, Hispanic Americans. We're not calling ourselves Israelites anymore until we wake up. So it's only for Israel. So that's salvation to the elect. Shalom.